Hi guys, I'm Exit Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylands. We are playing around with the campus DLC in our master plan city. Um, okay, so between episodes, what I've done is okay, so we're waiting for the year to fund oh, financial year, academic year to end. Um, what we are, what I've done in between episodes, I've actually put a little um, tunnel here for. Um, for buses which is obviously not being used by buses only so I need to fix that because these guys are freaking me out what I've also done is I've did a, did a little bit of a layout over here and I've added a train station a suburban train station all the way over here so that we can start connecting the suburbs onto train um, action and things like that I've uh, decided to just put in a bit of a bus lane type road over here a pretty small one actually um, and I've also extended it this way. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. It feels like a little bit too much infrastructure, to be very honest with you. So we'll see if we're going to keep that or not. But a connection, uh, a bus connection to this area over here could be could be pretty good. Um, so we'll start filling in this area as well. First things first, let me quickly fix the issue with vehicle restrictions over here. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is most definitely, uh, come on, this is most definitely not going to be cars or it can be taxis, it can't be these, it can be those and it can be those. That's fine. But that is uh, what we're going to do. And that is it. Thank you. So hopefully that means we will no longer see all kinds of weird cars coming in and out of there. Those that finish their pathing will so we might still see one or two go in yeah here they come they want to come and use this and now they can't go in there and now so they have to do something else and again driving funny things okay so there are still oh it's the post van it's the post van it's the post van still doing that what's happening over here is there a match underway there's a lot of noise going on oh yeah look 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 Woo! They made it! Yeah! <laughs> Love the detail. Love the detail. So hopefully the uh, the Spartans can actually pull off another one. How far are we with the financial... Oh, financial... I keep saying that. The academic year. Uh, it's still a, still a fair bit to go. How's our capacity looking like? Um, I think our capacity is now for the first time actually keeping pace with what we need. Right? Uh, ooh, uh, sorry, that's the wrong one over here. Not quite. We need another thousand or so. So that's okay. We will continue to grow that then, I believe. But yeah, the university is looking pretty good. So I'm going to keep an eye on, on, um, on our, um, on our, <laughs> on our progress and our academic year progress as well. What I've done is I've got a bus route that is supposed to be functioning from, on this section towards the the campus but I don't I think the buses are still on their way here potentially let me quickly have a look if I do check this I've switched off the other um, <clears throat> yeah so this bus line 7 over here and it's got it's got vehicles on it so the vehicles will be making their will be making their way over here they're just coming from the depot I'm assuming Okay, so that's kind of what we've got going on over here. Just a one, one more check at our finances. Yeah, so we are doing pretty well. What I'd like to do is I'd like to up this even more. So some more, uh, let's do like 12 or so. Yeah, 13. Wow, it's slowly, it's very slow to to up our odds over there. So let's go back to down to 11. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, Hopefully we'll get the works of art, works of art, the great works or whatever they call it, um, done. Other than that, camp is looking great. Okay, what I want to do over here is I quickly want to set out some, um, <clears throat> some commercial because we do need a little bit of commercial activity um, in the area over here. And I'm going to just do, I'm just going to fill this, that and that fully with commercial. So this can start filling out and doing its thing then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling out the rest of this with um, with some residential over here as well um, close by yeah let's just start by filling in this inner area over here and the issue of course over here is that this is a pretty pretty big distance from 
from our um, <clears throat> from any of our services so actually I want to fill in uh, actually this little street over here could probably be a little bit more of this and at the same time it could also um, incorporate something like a little uh, well a public library potentially but I'd rather fill that in in the center of town um, let's do um, there's some high schools over here is there anything just the standard or are we just gonna go with the standard one then well let's do that let's do that let's cut it closer to this side over here yeah something like that is probably a good one for us can I just get out of that that's obviously not getting the kind of power it should be getting I'm assuming so there's going to be some issues with that <clears throat> I'm glad that this is already filling in straight away are we picking up power we should be picking up power pretty quickly okay I'm gonna leave that for now um, I'm hoping that is sufficient bits and pieces in this area actually to be honest what we should do is I should actually put a little bit of everything in here so we'll grab ourselves a bit of a clinic over there we'll definitely get some some death care sorted out over here um, I want to do uh, maybe a small little fire station over here as well and a little bit of police which one I'm just gonna go with that one over there perfect so there is all of our services and that should hook us up to the power over here now perfect so now our services is in place and things can um, smooth go go along smoothly to fill things out over there so let's just get rid of those two so yeah that can be a commercial a bit of a commercial street going on over there and we've got some connections up to the to the highway network the freeway network over here and of course over there from from this side if you're coming in from this side you can go over there and then up here um, yeah that's how that's your only bet at this at this point in time but yeah you can you can do all of that you can get get that action so what I wanted to do in this episode also is actually get back to the industries piece so what I've got over here is I've got an oil industry and we've got no other industries apart from the oil industry we're cre creating a fair bit of oil plastics and petroleum and so what I was keen on doing is picking um, one of the um, unique factories <clears throat> That we can use potentially with the oil industry so this is something household plastic household plastic is what we can use over here so that was something that I thought actually guys since household plastic is going to be only um, is only going to need the stuff that we're producing here right what what is it requiring <clears throat> The household plastic factory requires petroleum and plastic special goods for the manufacturing of household plastic products. So let me just quickly check, are we producing plastics? Yes, we are producing plastic. So certainly we can do that factory, the household plastic factory. And I'm kind of tempted to, to, to slot it in, um, kind of just off the main road, something like this over here. right it's pretty close by so that it can get access to to get the goods shipped out so I'm gonna do that we're gonna place one of these factories over here and I'm gonna also see how we are doing with that factory and this area can still be expanded a fair bit if we have to do that <clears throat> happy for us to expand so what are you complaining about not enough buyers of products so that's exactly the issue we can't seem to be getting enough stuff out <clears throat> So that's something that we will con uh, constantly be keeping an eye on so let's see how this goes so it's gonna need to start running things a little bit over there um, we do need a fair bit more of this so what I could also do is I could also go ahead and find myself um, one of the other industries so oh, this is our traffic our traffic is wow pretty bad actually in this part of town what is going on over here it's always been pretty tough over here but yeah we could could have to have a look at what's going on in this area so things here um, and what you know what I think we don't have any bus routes or anything like that so <clears throat> as a minimum 
I think we should be running at least a little bus line over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, we've got a little cul-de-sac over there. So we'll start the line over there. Um, we'll give it a bit of a stop on this side. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Then we will make our way into this area. We'll stop over there. We will stop over here. We will stop. Um, actually, what we'll do is we will make a bit of a run into this area, but there's no easy way to turn around, is there? Um, so we'll do a bit of a turn around right there. One stop in that area is fine. Then we're going to run, do the run back in this direction. And yeah, we are pretty busy in this area. So hopefully what will happen now is we will actually get stuff sorted out a little um, and yes just do one over there and then we finish that route thank you so much i'm hoping this route will will somehow sort things out a little there is walking connectivity to the train station from here and we can interchange with uh, the tram line right there as well I can also start thinking about actually getting a tram route that runs in here so that we can directly connect to this side as well. So those are the kind of stuff that, uh, that we, we will be looking at. So I'm going to give that a little bit of time, just see how those buses go. Um, but in the, in the meantime, I also want to start looking at another industrial use, something that is maybe a little more uh, environmentally friendly so something like the um, like the forest industry do we have a spot where we can get a decent forest industry up and running and I'm kind of tempted to do it all the way up here it feels like the right thing to do can I just um, I just want to close that out I don't want to be looking at this all the time so this is the <clears throat> this looks like a good spot for forest industry right there but there also seems to be some other stuff down there let's have a quick look yeah so we can also do um the metal industry in that location yeah this is probably a better view for us again up here we can do some forest industry um, we're already doing the oil over there and i'm not planning on expanding that too much so i might actually trim that back a little bit uh, I'm not doing forest industry in the middle of the city. That is just crazy stuff. But on the edges, yeah, by all means. It doesn't look too promising. Up here, potentially. Up there. Um, over here. Up in the mountains. And it feels feels about right to me. Look, I don't think we... we well, actually, it's not a bad spot for... Hmm, I, I'm thinking of a little bit of farmland over here, maybe. I am thinking of that, but that still feels really, really close to the city to me. So I don't know. None of this will be farmland. Uh, and that's going to be the only pieces. Unless we, unless what we do is in this area over here, we do a bit of industry, um, forestry industry right there. And then we do a bit of farming over there. And that can start feeding in the city. I think that is probably a very good idea. So we can start um, looking into that. There's also some lines over here. So forestry industry. Building must be placed roadside. Of course it must be placed roadside. And what I was... Um, hmm, I was tempted at actually going underneath this and then having these two connect together. And that's kind of what, I, what I'm tempted at doing. So let me grab a bit of a smaller road. Uh, actually, not as... What we'll do is we'll just grab... Um, what is classed as the industrial road and I'm tempted to just kind of run it underneath um, the highway as a bit of a <clears throat> yeah to be honest what I'm going to do I'm going to force it like this okay and what we'll do is we will uh, no 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 I want you to force it as a ground you know piece right ah yeah that's what I want Thank you very much. Just like that. And you can come back up here, please. And it's going to be a pretty a pretty steep one is kind of the idea. Now, <clears throat> I'll quickly up. Yeah, this is this is the kind of this is the kind of look that I'm look, <laughs> looking for. Not as is, of course, but <clears throat> give me this. And what we'll do is we're just going to um, 
upgrade these sections. Can I? I think this thing can add nodes, right? No, it doesn't seem to be able to add nodes. So what I'll do is I'm just going to grab this little thing over here and we're going to add uh, nodes in the old fashioned way. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so something like that has created some nodes for us. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab this. We're going to upgrade it to a bridge structure through there and through there. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to go back to normal mode and we will get rid of these pieces right there. So you've got a little bit of a bridge structure over there over a low. Ooh, that does not look good. That looks really not quite high enough. So what I'll just do is I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to give it a couple uh, of moves. Something like that and something like that is going to be uh, a little bit more realistic because there are some trucks that's going to have to go down down in that section. But that is cool. So there we go. So it's a little, little bit of a dip, much of a, a, a lot of a, a bit of an industrial look and feel to it. Um, and then what we'll do is I'm just going to go <clears throat> get out of move it. We're going to go back to our road and we will um, just cross this one. Let's not do that. Um, let's just cross that uh, like so. Oops. Lost the train over there due to the crossing. And let's start by doing a little bit of this kind of thing. Mm, that might not quite be... I was doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, actually... We're probably going a little bit too quickly. Let's get that back and let's see about... Something like that um, as our our industrial road over there. That actually looks quite good. Oh, the academic year is finished. Okay, let's have a quick look. What's happened? We've added two more academic works. We've added a ton more students, another 744. Our campus attractiveness has gone up quite a lot. And we've gone from recognized to renowned. We extra $10 per student, um, exchange student bonus 8%. We've got two pieces of work, which is um, <coughs> Westside Chirpy. A musical that all the potential to become the most popular high school play ever. Um, academic works created, high rise. <clears throat> Innovative take on the lost art of elevator music. Toga party, um, the toga party aftermath included students missing classes in the morning, people sleeping on the campus lawn and few proactive freshmen decorating the statues found on campus um, grounds. So that's it. There we go. We're doing pretty good. If we go to the spot and we see let's pause the game oh here's our buses no those buses shouldn't be doing that interesting okay let's have a quick look so if we go to info we already have enough students we need four more works of academic uh, four more academic works you can see our numbers have dropped a little bit because we are actually progressing people through university now <clears throat> so we need to maintain a good population if we want to continue to throw people through uh, through th through the years over here. <clears throat> we did not win any trophies. So what happened with our varsity sports team? We've got one lifetime trophy, but yeah, things were not too good for us. <clears throat> we probably need to spend more money on coaching staff. So the Spartans didn't do this well that well this year. Okay, well that's okay. So let's. Um, uh, we probably need to up this number a little. Okay, something like that. We will do some music grant. Okay, that's pretty good. And I want to see about increasing our coaching staff just a tad. All of that is pretty good. Um, 
How many people actually attend our events? I don't quite know, but we're going to leave that for now. So there we go. The campus is progressing quite well. The one piece that I think we should now start plopping in here is actually the one of these, oh, sorry, one of these, um, these schools. So if I say, what do we have? So we have the art club, we have the liberal arts commencement office is not available just yet uh, or I don't have one just yet and so the question to in my mind is where do we slot that in that is a pretty cool spot um, yeah something somewhere over this side maybe that side's got the library um, over here all pretty full on uh, we could squeeze in something over here but I, I don't want to do too too crazy things what I want to do is maybe maybe over here is a better spot for it Something like that. So the commencement office, what does that give us? Not much, actually. Just cost us money. Okay, so let's slot that in there. Okay. And then I also want to grab us. Uh, I'll get some of these other things later. But what I want to do is get one of these schools of uh, schools of something. Okay, so let's quickly have a look. So the Faculty of Education provides all schools with an influx of substitute and um, student teachers which allows classrooms to have higher student uh, capacity and helps them educate more efficiently faculty increases campus attractiveness and requires liberal arts campus area um, then the environmental studies faculty encourages students to enlighten the masses about the negative effects of the consumer culture on nature reducing garbage accumulating in the city faculty increases campus attractiveness and requires a liberal arts campus area that is something that i would actually because we've got garbage problems all over and then the school of economics through innovative budget planning and tax management students from school of economics helps the local office zones increase revenue without upsetting the city's populace faculty increases campus attractiveness and requires a liberal arts campus so what i'm going to do is i am actually going with the school of environmental studies and can you just please um i, I, I don't want to see the zone there i just want to see where i'm going to plop it hmm. so what i'm kind of tempted to do is actually plop it on this side right so that we so, so that this school is on on the other side um, there's still plenty of other little buildings we can slot in over there and um, that's outside of the campus area but we can most certainly in extend it that way this is in the campus area but I'm worried that that little road is I mean th does this thing generate um, generate tons of uh, tons of traffic or not I don't know can't really squeeze it in over here we can probably can probably squeeze it in there if we wanted to we can probably squeeze it in there if we wanted to but yeah almost this spot almost looks looks good to me to have that over here but yeah it's a little little further away from all the main buildings and i'm not sure we necessarily want to expand into this area so what I'll probably do, I'm just going to move that one. I'm going to move this building um, to this spot right over there. Okay. And then I'm going to slot that one in here. In here is going to be the spot for it. There's lots of, lots of room for a little path to go through the other side. And we can slot in some other services in here as well. So there we go. The School of Environmental Studies. That gives a lot of additional student capacity it's probably going to make this place quite an attractive school now uh, yeah that popped up quite substantially so a few extra bits and pieces and we've got our attractiveness in there um, then it's just about making sure we uh, get our works of um, our, our great works what do they call it it's, somehow I can't get the academic works academic year academic works get the word academic sorted <laughs> okay now we've got some buses running here and i don't quite know why you've got this this bus vehicle line details you should please be the school bus thank you so much that's the the little the little the little school bus model is the one that we are going for over there thank you very much it might be a little 
thing that's ah, here we go these are our buses from the other side of town so as you can see they are making a run for it oh my goodness look at that a hundred and fifteen people on that bus that is craziness isn't it where are these buses can we see some more of these buses around or it's just the one maybe it's just still warming up oh here or oh, here they are oh they're still unbunching i think i think that's the action that is occurring over there okay guys i think this is where i'm going to end the episode it's gone on long enough um, we will continue to keep an eye on this campus we will continue to grow the area around it um, this area could actually be quite nice suburbs with some maybe a little bit more higher density along along the coast over here maybe a little around this spot here and then suburbs around it the suburbs around a campus like this would uh, actually look pretty good and we've already got a nice suburb a suburban area going on over there the thing that i also want to do in between episodes i'll probably keep um, working on this area over here to make sure that we get a bit of uh, other industrial uses right there somehow tie this in together get ourselves some some uh, some lumber forestry forestry industry doing its thing uh, well that that road is actually quite busy uh, towards the airport there uh, that's pretty good I don't think I've seen uh, this road is pretty busy too stuff happening over there um i you know what i don't think i've ever ooh, something is funny over here actually let's quickly fix that just before we end the episode i know um let me kind of fix that a little bit okay give me this two lane over there and just we'll, we're, we're running it straight into um this spot right there and then over there hopefully that means this thing is now open for business oh it was open for business before it seems okay <clears throat> the one thing that i don't think i've actually done is linked up the uh the 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 train over here so let's quickly do that as well yeah yeah absolutely it's not linked up so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the other train that we've got that one and i'm gonna move it um where am i and i'm gonna move it over there there you go and then i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna try and give it some um, new stops there and i definitely want to change that color can i please change that color to like a bluish um not yellow green a green color that's the one um and we'll get some names for that later. Okay, now I'm really going to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.